Oh hey, where am I? What is this magical land I have just entered? That's because it's a new studio. Yes, I have a new studio and I freaking love it. It's actually my mom's office, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, she still has some of this up. This was actually left over from I don't know. My mom gave it to me because she said she wasn't using it, so I don't mind. Thank you, mom. That's way better than my room, that's for sure. So we don't have the cute, obese Pikachu anymore. Hang on a sec, I'll just go and grab him. He's back! Um, where should I leave him? I'll just leave him here. Can you see him from here? Oh, he's sitting properly, is he? There we go. There he is. He's still there in the corner. <laughs> he's right in the corner. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's talk about anime. Hello everyone, my name is Ollie Mori and welcome to Seizure Art. Now, I love anime. I didn't truly get into it until like a year and a bit ago. The closest I've really come to anime as a kid um, was the Avatar The Last Airbender series. And that's not really an anime, even though it's so close to being one. Back then, um, when I was a kid, I thought it was, well not a kid, but like when I was like a teen, I thought anime was pretty much a, a genre for kids to get their fill on cartoons. Oh how oh, I was wrong. <laughs> some anime are so violent and complex that even my teeny little brain can't handle. <laughs> and some anime are definitely not suited for kids. I don't know why it's taking me so long to, to get into anime. But I love it now and I want to draw it now. So today I'll be drawing anime style. I don't think I'm very good at drawing anime. Again, the closest I've ever come to drawing anime is Avatar. So I guess that's close enough. So I'm going to be drawing some of my favorite favorite anime for you guys and girls and see if you can guess who they are and what anime they come from. So alright, let's get to it. Hey everyone, so to begin with I draw a border on a plain page of an A4 tan construction paper. I wanted to draw in portrait form because if I had to draw in a full body form it would have taken too long and I wanted to show you guys as much as I can. The next step is the pencil work. I was trying to try my best to keep as much in the frame as possible and I was hoping with using the right perspective I could fit the character's torso in frame. I think it worked. Uh, I love art when it's drawn in the craziest perspective. It just exaggerates the drawing so much. Next is the line work. I'm using a 0.5 uni pen fine liner and a brush pen. I use the brush pen for the more organic things like the hair and uh, the skin and leave the hands to the fine liner. Next is the colouring in. I wanted to be as minimalistic as possible when it came to the colouring. Uh, using a red brush pen I colour in the red tubes on the, the back of his head just to make them stand out and just be more exaggerated. Uh, then I use an ordinary white pencil to colour in the hair. Here I'm just blocking out some shapes with the, the warm and cool grey Copic markers and then add shadows uh, on top of them like on the the t-shirts and the hands and so on and so forth. Lastly I use a jelly roll on the border um, in the background and uh, a little bit of highlights in the hair. And here we have it everyone. So if you haven't guessed who this is, he's Tomura Shigaraki and he's a villain from the anime My Hero Academia. I won't say much because of spoilers, but his power is the ability to decay things. Like anything he touches will just crumble and like, you know, rot. The reason I drew him was his outfit looks um, so amazing and creepy. I don't know what function the hands provide, but I read that each hand is one of the, the the members of this guy's family. So I guess it's sentiment that he wears them? I mean that is sentiment on a whole different scale if ever I saw it. <laughs> yeah, now overall 
great character design and really fun to draw. Also, Hero Academia, really fun anime and I really recommend it. All right, on to the next anime. So this fun little guy is Ryuk from the anime Death Note. Death Note was one of the first anime I was introduced to and I love it. It was one of those animes that you could just watch it over and over again and you just keep noticing things that you didn't notice the first time. Now the role of Ryuk plays like a little hovering devil on the main protagonist's shoulder. He's known as the god of death and he's addicted to apples which I just find so adorable. The way he's addicted to them is kind of like a drug. He even has symptoms if he hasn't eaten an apple in a while. Now I just find, I just think he's such a great character. He terrified me the, the first time I, I, I saw him. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, on to the next drawing.
And here we're on to the final anime drawing for today. People, this character is Uta, um, and he's from Tokyo Ghoul, uh, the anime. Now what makes Tokyo Ghoul one of my favorite animes is how it dappers in cultural appropriation. So in this universe, there's a race called ghouls, and in order to survive, they need to eat the flesh of humans. I say that so casually. <laughs> It's not as bad as you might think. The anime sort of dips into the more sensitive side. Humans think all ghouls should be exterminated and just slaughtered like the monsters they are. But not all ghouls are bad. There are some ghouls that just want to live normal lives and try not to kill any humans, if at all, to sustain themselves. It's just like a same scenario as uh, if you're different, you better run for the hills. And I just connect with it so much. Now, Uta plays a small role in the show. And the reason that I love him so much is because uh, he's the artist of the anime. He makes a living by designing and creating masks for his um, fellow ghouls so they can hide their faces when they go out hunting. And what really piqued my interest in him, that he was already so different than everyone else, even if he wasn't a ghoul. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope I picked your interest into trying out some anime for yourself. Uh, keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey everybody, I had a great time learning about anime style drawing. I hope you did too. If you want more, please go and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you know when the next video is out. Also, please go check out my other social medias. There's always something different on each one. And if you're feeling generous, please feel free to donate. Any amount, high or small, is greatly appreciated. That's all from me for now. Bye bye!